Hello, Rebel Moon fans. This is James from Digital Shark Goodery giving you an up to date what we know so far discussion about Zack Snyder's upcoming Netflix film, Rebel Moon. Uh, and I reached out to some friends of mine who have some information on this as well. Um, nothing major, but we're going to get to that in just a little bit. I want to touch up a little bit on Rebel Moon because I am super excited for this. I wanted to let you know why. And before we get into that, just a little bit of a rundown on what's happening right here. Shay Haddon, Kurt Johnstad, and Zack Snyder have written the screenplay for this. What I love about this, though, is this was Zack Snyder's Star Wars pitch. Not to Kathleen Kennedy. Before the Disney acquisition, Zack Snyder, like all of us, he had an idea for a Star Wars movie. It, it didn't happen, obviously. It was not. And I'm going to tell you right now, that is actually good news because as much as I love Zack Snyder, and I think he's a very, he's an excellent visionary filmmaker. His film, you could tell a Zack Snyder film, and I think that is the trademark of a good filmmaker when you can tell who made the movie. It's not just generic and bland. This is Zack Snyder, take it or leave it. And that does not mesh. That doesn't gel with Star Wars. Star Wars has its own look. Star Wars is its own film. It's a TV series. It's serial. This is what it is. This is Star Wars. This is the Star Wars brand and it's hard to escape that i mean you bring in someone like ryan johnson he, he kind of tries to escape it and then you know this whole disaster and this fan base splits and people you know raise hell so i kind of like this idea that he sat on this also he pitched it didn't work out he sat on it then you know he does his his superhero stuff his dc films the snyderverse all the Snyderverse, all of this fun stuff, and he starts to really get his feet wet and understand, and, and he's kind of building a world there. But it's not his world. He didn't create that world. He created the vision that those characters are living in, but not the world itself that's based on previous material, not his own stuff. Then he makes Army of the Dead. And look, I had so much fun with Army of the Dead. I was very excited for it, and I loved it. I also love that he was a cinematographer on it, and the stuff with Tig Notaro, how the hell is she not? Like, anyway, we won't get into that. That's not what this is about. This is about Rebel Moon. But he kind of really got his feet went again and he was like you know what this could be a universe and army of dead perfectly encapsulates what a, a, a cinematic universe could be and should be it doesn't always have to be superheroes or the dark universe that failed this was his own thing and then army of thieves came out and i honestly i actually really dug this flick Crack! it was a nice simple movie good characters fun premise and i was along for the ride and i love this world that zack snyder's created for army of the dead it doesn't even have to be about zombies sure they're there and they're in the backdrop but it's not about the zombies it's a beyond that and it's, a, and it's in a world that he's created and I'm all in on that and that's what really gets me excited for Rebel Moon is he's going to do this with Rebel Moon with this Star Wars pitch and Star Wars started off with George Lucas not being able to get the rights to Flash Gordon so he made Star Wars and now this is kind of like Zack Snyder wanted to make Star Wars and he couldn't do Star Wars so now he's doing Rebel Moon which is his Star Wars to George Lucas's Flash Gordon and that really intrigues me and this premise sounds simple very simple magnificent Magnificent Seven, simple. Nice little plot. It's a mysterious woman and her planet it comes under attack or whatever, what have you. And she has and she gets selected to go out and find people to help them out. And those people that they have are Charlie Hunnam, Juman Hansu, Bay Duna, Ray Fisher, Jenna Malone, Staz Nair, E. Duffy, Charlotte Maggie, Sky Yang, and of course the woman playing. The woman in charge of it all, our Luke Skywalker, Sophia Butea. And this excites me because The Seven Samurai, Magnificent Seven, they're fantastic premises. Like the movies aside, the premise is great. People rising up, getting together. We saw it in The Mandalorian. We saw it in The Three Amigos. We've seen this all, but this is just, it's a very standard plot. We've heard it before. We've seen it before, but it's exciting because it's going to be the Zack Snyder element to it, bringing all these people together. And one thing Zack Snyder does better than almost anybody else is finding a fantastic ensemble cast. Look at the cast that he's put together from Sucker Punch, 300, Army of the Dead, Justice League, Man of Steel. It's phenomenal. Henry Cavill, Perfect Superman. Amy Adams, I had reservations about her playing Lois Lane. Blew my mind. Just, I mean, she's a great actress, but I didn't really see her as Lois Lane. And when I watched the movie, I absolutely did. And then you take into account what he has his actors go through in training for it all the, the cast is now together and they are training for this it's reminiscent of henry cavill superman and of, of gerard butler and crew in 300 where they're getting through this physical shape so they could be in the right mentality for these parts and this is telling me this is going to be a very action-packed very physical film production art that he's released as well and this stuff looks breathtaking i love this wintry scene very hot very star wars still but also take in taken out a little bit we see a dog there i wonder if that's gonna be a dog or whatnot but again in the sky you see a little glowing orb there if that's what that could be and then the city is obviously very futuristic 
Uh, here we have some like military looking type things here, which is this is probably the colony that that uh, our main character is on. She has to leave to go get help to kind of save her people. Uh, and this one, this is Imperial, very Imperial, very 300 looking right here art. I freaking, this is fantastic. I can't wait to see this. Kind of reminds me of, of The Witcher meets Star Wars in a lot of ways here. Um, this, this gives me a Rogue One vibe, very Rogue One vibe, which I'm very excited for Rebel Moon. The, the cast of characters, which Rogue One again, very Seven Samurai in a lot of ways. So I'm very excited to see what uh, he has going on there. Beyond this, they are ramping up production and it's Netflix, so you know they're gonna be boom, 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 getting this done. Uh, because he's got to move on to his next project as well. We'll get to that in another video, but I can't wait to see what he has here. Ray Fisher coming back, Malone coming back. Uh, she, of course, was in Sucker Punch. And uh, Batman v Superman, the big, long version of that. She was great in that. Uh, and she's really good in the Hunger Games as well. So I'm excited to see what the cast brings together here, how they're going to play it out, who's going to live, who's going to die. But what excites me the most is that he could create, Rebel Moon could create a another universe which i know people are getting sick of universes but it, this is what it is star wars was always a universe and this is and that's what this feels like this feels like it can expand and we can get spin-offs and, and follow other characters doing whatever and that's what it, it feels like it's just going to create this this world that is rich uh with with wonder and awe and i can't wait to be a part of that and i've reached out to some friends who work in the industry and they've told me that they've heard really good things about this script um they're saying people are very positive very excited to work on it and, and zack snyder from what everybody knows everybody heard is that he's one of the most wonderful people to work with everybody really loves zack snyder so get ready man we are in for a ride with rebel moon uh it, you know this it's still a long way to go they're just gearing up right now they're just getting into action shape um but the vfx have to be in starting the pre-production is obviously I'm pretty much done by now cannot wait this is going to be very exciting let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you excited for rebel moon do you think this is going to be a big hit do you think we're going to get a shared universe of rebel moon coming up please let me know can't wait to hear your thoughts and until next time thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it may you be the master of your own universe